What's up, YouTubers? You guys out there in YouTube land, man, you guys are awesome, and you know you are. Well, today, I want to let y'all in on a little bit of info on the Boom Boom Coal Jig. Now, just remember, this is my honest opinion about this. I think this thing is garbage, and I'm going to tell you why. When I first pulled this thing out of the box, I was expecting something, to, you know, really cool and whatnot. Well, this piece right here, which is the part you hold in your hand. Now, that little hole right there, right there, wasn't even there. I had to drill that myself. Okay. Now, you have your little baggie here. You have your three rods, your Allen tool, and your little Allen screw to hold your rods in. Now, the Allen tool and the screw, they don't match each other. It's the wrong size. So, eventually, if you accidentally over-tightened it, you would probably never get it out. Now, for the top piece, you have your little Allen head screw here. The Allen tool doesn't even fit that. Okay, now your little holes there, every single one of them holes was completely clogged up with BS. Now, another thing about this that I do not like is that your rods for making your coils are supposed to fit, okay? That one fits and it rolls. Now you have your smallest one. It does not fit all the way down and you can't even turn it. Your medium sized one doesn't even go in all the way. It goes in maybe about a centimeter or so and you can't even roll it. So you can't even make coils with it unless you go and you drill out these holes a little bit bigger another thing once you put your rod in and you screw your Allen screw into the side to hold your rod down when you try to pull it out the first time I did this I had to use a pair of channel locks to pull the rod out especially if you over tighten it a little bit like I did but now this thing does build the perfect coils 25% of the time it makes the perfect coil yes it does there's one example right there but the rest and that's 22 gauge I tried it with 24 gauge several different times and never got a perfect coil out of it this is what happened it overlapped it every time i had it, it, it it'll make the perfect stovetop coil i'll tell you that right now i wasted probably three foot of wire yesterday it was ridiculous i didn't really waste i straightened it back out and threw it back in my vape box but anyways, I do not like this. I'm going to go home later on, and I'm going to drill out these holes so that it can work properly. If you got one of you guys out there in YouTube land that are watching this video would like to have this, I would be more than happy to give it to you. Leave me a comment down below on why you would like to have this boom boom coil jig and I'll let this run until next Thursday and I'll be more than happy to send this thing out to you I'm going back old school with uh, the drill bit and a pair of needle nose because I like doing things with my hands anyway We have a few new subscribers 
I'd like to give a subscriber shout out to Dimbo2014, Big Buck Down577, Laura Vasco, Richard Kranz, 1911 Light, and Caitlin Kinshin. I'd like to welcome you guys to one of the coolest vape channels on YouTube. I do do a lot of giveaways. Um, I try to give back to uh, the vape community as much as possible. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this channel. Um, anyways, the cloud competition went pretty good. There was, um, I think there was 27 people who entered the competition and I made fifth place. Um, I wasn't really prepared too much. Um, it was my first time going. Uh, next time, I'm going to go in there with a dual Caterpillar Track Cool setup, vaping on an MXJO, and hopefully uh, I can blow these guys out of the water and get first place. Of course, I didn't win anything for being in fifth place, but it's okay with me. They hold this thing once a week, and I will be going as much as possible. Unfortunately, whenever I get on night shift, I won't be able to attend. So for three weeks in a row, I'll be able to attend. Next time I go, I will have it on video so you guys can check that out and see what that's all about. Other than that, that concludes the video, guys. Be you do you know, let nobody bring you down. Peace out, YouTube.